Hey, quad bros. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you guys are here. Got another dev vlog for you. Hopefully, this means um, that we'll be getting the merge update here soon. You know, they do these dev vlogs in the weeks, the couple weeks, one or two, three weeks leading up to the major update that I really do hope is soon. Uh, maybe we're even looking at next week, the week after that. I know Enlisted's birthday is sometime like mid November, is kind of when the game first went into closed beta testing or closed alpha testing maybe it was not sure but um hopefully that means that we will be seeing the merge update within a couple weeks i think that they they're, they're kind of you know they've gotten a couple weeks out of uh out of testing out of, out of the feedback from the test server and hopefully that means we'll be getting it there you go anyway this dev blog is going over uh old locations and enlisted kind of showing off some changes that are going to be happening and some changes that they've made to these different maps. You can see that they've got a heat map of the game, or of D-Day here, where we all like to go, where we die, where we run, where we move, and how we move through these areas, which is really cool. I'm kind of a nerd for this kind of stuff. I like level design a lot. So it's nice to see kind of like where players are dying and how Dark Flow is changing kind of that. And I don't know if these purple dots are like deaths, like locations where someone died, generally speaking. I think that kind of makes sense. Uh, I think these are kind of paths leading up. I'm not sure. They don't really say exactly what these purple dots are, but typically on these heat maps, it's where people die or where combat happens and things like that. So for D-Day, you can see um, a lot of the changes they said are aimed at improving balance in the overall presentation. So the first capture zone, you can see this is current D-Day, right? You can see there's all these like tank traps that kind of uh, our obstacles makes tanks harder to move up makes it kind of hard uh, for infantry to pathfind through but it does offer a lot of cover and they're removing a lot of that so you can see a lot of these are being removed in favor of hard cover and these like this terrain so you can see these kind of uh these bluffs are being put up the terrain has been raised so again this is the new version and this is the old version right so you can see these these there's this kind of big hill that's being added in the middle there's a hill being added on the right so that's going to give you some natural terrain to kind of move through and be able to push these objectives which is excellent right that's a great change you can see also this bunker in the back is being lowered uh which is going to make it harder for people to sit up there and like tanks and things like that and just shoot down into the spawn so that's also a pretty good change i'm glad to see that as well and then the interior of the map this is the new version you can see there's these cliffs here uh, along the side in the old version that's just a hill which sometimes you can actually climb up here you're seeing no you can't actually climb that uh, climb that your ai aren't going to follow you up that you can probably scale that individually and push this objective but that's going to be a good change this objective is very hard to hold as the axis when you're defending just because people can just um they can just run up this hill from every side and flood that objective really easily so adding these cliffs is pretty good to uh to prevent that but you can still kind of do some some point de hoc style climb up leave your ai down here one by one climb up and clear the objective type deal so that's that's good to see you also see this trench line gets pushed back a little bit a little bit further up here it vomits out right into this here it, it comes back a little bit so that's a good change as well moving on to verser mare you can see this is the new version you can see they added a bunker over here they added a bunker up here um, they've added some general terrain it's been pushed up to kind of allow more access pushing up to this objective as well as this has been pushed up majorly so if we look at the old version you can see just how like open and sparse the cover is here like pushing across this a guy with the with an mg42 or an stg or a thompson or a bar or whatever can just mow down your squad as you have to cover this kind of open open ground here you can see they've added a lot more terrain, a lot more sight blockers to allow for a little bit more maneuverability up through this area and into this trench line to contest these uh, areas and these objectives. As well as adding, uh, they said, some uh, two new additional capture zones in this bunker and the uh, a beach. There's a bunker on the beach and a bunker with a coastal gun. So I think this is the coastal gun one. I think these are uh, the... Actually, maybe it's... I'm not sure. It looks like we have two bunkers back here. Maybe one of these is like the coastal gun and one of them is like another bunker. I don't know. But either way, they've added, you know, this bunker here. This looks like a coastal gun, like right here. Does that look like a coastal gun to you guys? 
I think it does. But nice changes overall. I really enjoy this. You can see this is this is the old. A lot of you guys are probably very familiar with this map, right? That's the old. And then we're going to see this is the new. Tons of changes right here, over here, down here. Again, this is the most dramatic change. So I'm kind of hovering on it. This is the old. And that's the new. I feel like I'm like a like an eye doctor. Number one and number two. Number one. <laughs> you guys you guys have to deal with that? I got to deal with that all the time. I have really bad eyesight. Uh, I'm like legally blind with that, like glasses and contacts and stuff. So, um, I don't know. Blind gang unite, I guess. This is another another viewpoint of that. So you can see this is the uh, this is the new. You can see the bunker down here. There's a little bit of terrain changes up here, right? You know, a little bit higher. Just focusing right here. Just a little bit higher. A little bit of rocks being added. Just some, a little bit more cover being added for the attackers there. And then the big thing is this big bunker. Some rocks and things like that. And you can see the terrain's a big deal too. Right down here. Right, That's being kind of smoothed out. Let you push up a little bit easier. Overall, good changes though. I like it a lot. I'm kind of hovering over this. You can see just, just how these changes are being made. Oh, they also added, I guess starting this trench line here. I didn't notice that. That's nice. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They, they would have a trench that would go between. The, that's a nice little detail. I like that a lot. It's like a little trench, like a communication trench that would go between these two big bunkers. Very cool. And then we have the beach of uh, Verser Mare, which is going to look exactly the same as the uh, the D-Day changes. So you can see there's all these little tank traps. And then the new version, none of those tank traps, they all got removed. And we've added some uh, some various little pieces of cover right you can see this big thing right here this thing right here i'm not sure about this one this feels like they are removing a lot of cover and i don't think you get killed a whole lot on this and maybe the other changes are going to kind of balance it out but it does feel like there's a lot of cover being removed and then finally on to stalingrad this is uh this is the old version of what uh the front of gorky theater looks like you can see it's very very little cover you're kind of pushing across the open these trees are kind of blocking sight like if you're standing here you can't really see up into it so they've removed these trees they've added this nice little house which can serve as a great sight blocker great rally point placement uh, i'm going to guess there's gonna be a lot of rally points that are gonna find their way over here maybe behind this thing right they've added these kind of broken down little huts and kiosks and things like that which is just going to serve as kind of like a base of fire to push, uh, shoot into these windows, kind of pick off enemies that are firing down onto you so you can assault into this objective. So great changes there. I like this a lot. Looks good. They also said they're at, they're removing a lot of the big pieces of debris. Those of you that have played Stalingrad know that there's, there's a lot of just like junk laying around that makes tanking kind of a pain in the ass. So again, they've removed a lot of that, which is just overall great changes, right? I think they're just good changes. And I really, I, I enjoy these kind of dev blogs. I'm like I said, I'm kind of a nerd for this kind of stuff. I've always enjoyed level design. So I like this a lot. I like to see it. So I hope we get more of these. Honestly, I love, I love this kind of stuff, but that's it guys. Those are the changes. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like these changes? Do you guys think that like, I guess my big question for you guys is what do you guys think about removing these, these hedgehogs, right? These, uh, these tank traps. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Do you think that the cover that's being added is enough to, to justify the removal of these? I'm not sure. I'd like to see how it plays out. And not many people really push up the front there, right? You can see, like, I think most people are pushing through the sides here. You can see there's a lot less deaths in these areas, while a lot of people are supposedly, like, pushing through here and maybe dying a lot. So maybe that's why they decide to make those changes. So we'll see. Uh, I'm excited for these maps. I'm excited to test them out and see how they play out. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. And while you're there, leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out, and I do appreciate it. But without anything else, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.